Hey there, future Wall Street wizards. So, you want to learn about the stock market, huh? Sounds scary, right? Don't sweat it. It's not as complicated as you think. It's like learning a new game. And trust me, the rewards can be awesome. Think of the stock market as a giant marketplace. But instead of vegetables or clothes, you're buying and selling pieces of companies. Companies like Apple, Nike, or even your favorite pizza place. These pieces are called stocks. Why buy stocks? Good question. When you own stock, you own a piece of that company. And if the company does well, your piece becomes more valuable. This guide will be your map to this exciting world. We'll cover the basics, from understanding what stocks are to making your first trade. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Let's imagine your favorite pizza place. They make the best pepperoni pizza in town. Now imagine that pizza place is cut into 100 slices. Each slice represents a share of the company. When you buy a share or a slice, you become a part owner. You're invested in their success. If they sell more pizzas, your slice becomes more valuable. Why? Because you own a piece of their profits. Now let's say they open another shop. That's growth. Your slice just became even more valuable. Of course, if they start burning pizzas and losing customers, your slice might be worth less. That's the risk you take. That's the stock market in a nutshell. You buy shares of companies you believe in, hoping they'll grow and make you money. Ready to buy some stock? You'll need a brokerage account. Think of it like a bank account for your stocks. It's where you'll buy, sell, and keep track of your investments. There are tons of brokerage accounts out there. Some popular ones are Fidelity, Schwab, and TD Ameritrade. They all have their pros and cons, so do your homework. Opening an account is easy. You'll need some basic information like your social security number and address. Once you're approved, you can transfer money into your account. Now you're ready to start buying stocks. But first, let's learn how to pick them. Section 4. Unmasking the Numbers Picking stocks can feel like deciphering a secret code. But don't worry, it's not that complicated. There are key numbers that can help you understand a company's financial health. They're like clues to help you make smart investment decisions. One important number is the P.E. ratio. It tells you how much investors are willing to pay for every dollar of a company's earnings. A high P.E. ratio could mean the company is expected to grow a lot. Then there's EPS, or earnings per share. This tells you how much profit the company makes for each share of stock. Higher EPS usually means the company is doing well. Finally, we have the dividend yield. This is the annual dividend payment you receive for each share you own, expressed as a percentage of the stock price. Think of it like getting paid a little something extra just for owning the stock. Section 5. Taking the plunge. Alright, you've opened your brokerage account, you've learned about some key financial metrics, and you've got your eye on a company. Time to buy some stock. First, you'll need the company's ticker symbol. It's like their nickname on the stock market. For example, Apple's ticker symbol is AAPL. Next, decide how many shares you want to buy. Remember, each share represents a piece of the company. Then you choose the type of order. A market order buys the stock at the current market price. A limit order lets you set the maximum price you're willing to pay. Once you've entered your order, review everything carefully and hit submit. Congratulations, you're now a proud stockholder. Section 6. Time is your friend. Investing in the stock market is like planting a tree. You don't see results overnight. It takes time for your investments to grow. Don't panic if the market goes down. Even the best companies have their ups and downs. In fact, dips in the market can be a good opportunity to buy more stock at a lower price. The key to success in the stock market is patience and a long-term perspective. Don't try to get rich quick. Focus on investing in solid companies that you believe in for the long haul. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Disclaimer. This content is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice or a recommendation to buy or sell any securities. Always do your own research and consider consulting with a financial advisor to make informed decisions that align with your individual financial goals. Pause 2S. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the stock market landscape. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more you learn, the better prepared you'll be to navigate the ups and downs of investing. Stay curious, stay patient, and most importantly, stay informed. Until next time, happy investing.